So I've never done this before, but I'm gonna try to use the engine crane to put the in, sorry, the hoist to put the engine in the car. So I've never done this before and the only reason I'm doing it is because I've lent my engine crane out and I do not wanna drive 30 minutes to go get it back. So let's see if I can kinda of cheat the system and use the arm to put the motor in. Okay, as you can tell, the motor is sitting down and it's not actually on its mount. So that means it's hitting somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the torch in there and I'm just going to cut the back of this new cradle off just a bit to make clearance for this oil pan because that's the last thing I need is in the derby ring, the cradle will go through the engine pan. So let's get the torch out, trim some of that back and then we'll continue bringing this motor down and into place. So the first test for this motor went pretty good. Some problems that I'm running into, as you can see, these motor mounts are not on the motor base. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut this little tab off right here that will let those motor mounts twist more than what they're supposed to. And then I'm going to weld some chain to this and then bolt the chain to the motor. Just because you are allowed to uh, chain your motor down, I like to do it. I find it adds quite a bit of extra stability. So that's one thing I still got to do. So the first test fit, not too bad there. Transmission tunnel, I don't really have to cut out any of it. I am probably going to cut out of a bit of it just because I can have the clearances when the transmission starts to bend up. Um, back here at the firewall, I am going to probably cut this lip out or if I just zip it here and then hammer it down just to give me that extra little bit because there's like an inch between there, right? Uh, motor going in went pretty good as you see and there was lots of smoke when I cut the hole through the floor and why I cut that hole is just to hold the transmission because there is no transmission cross member in this so it's just uh, something I do to help put the motors in and the transmissions in but overall I'm actually pretty impressed with this um, it went on there extremely easy um, Yes, the hoist is not really the best way to do that, I say, but other than that, it is uh, done. I think that fits in there pretty nice. I am going to have to take it out and do a little bit more trimming. As you see, I did cut around the oil pan, but I will have to cut a little bit more around the oil pan. But not scared of it smashing it off now, so I'm pretty happy overall about that. But everything went smooth. Motor's in. I Like I said, it will come back out, but... Now I know at least it works and it fits and my engine cradle works, so pretty damn happy about that. But that being said, I gotta call it a day. I'm gonna go look at a new camcorder, so 2017. The wife and I are gonna try to uh, videotape a lot more of the events we go to. As of right now, I basically shoot everything off of my iPhone. So that's why it's probably been not the best quality at some demolition derbies. I'm gonna try to upgrade to a, a Canon camcorder, so we'll see how that goes. But Time to go get showered up.